A drainage ditch causing big problems for some folks in Wessico. Channel 5's Monica de Anda went to find them some answers. Martin Cavazos loves to keep his house in tip-top shape. Flooding makes that difficult. This drainage ditch separates the Cavazos' family home and Weslaco East High School. Every year that we have heavy rainfall, we're affected. Cavazos says the drainage ditch makes things worse when it rains. When it floods from the backyard, the water just channels to the front and then floods, it floods that way and it floods our house. Last June's flooding in Weslaco left the Cavazos' family home with $60,000 worth in damage. About two feet of water filled their backyard. He painted his trees where the water rose to mark last year's flood damage. Repairs for the roof, floors, bedrooms, and kitchen were needed. He was left scrambling to get his parents, both over 80, out of the home. And that caused a lot of stress on them because, you know, they're, they were afraid of, a, you know, what's going on in my house. So it's, it's, it was, a, it was, it was a real stressful for everybody. Cavazos is concerned with the drainage ditch between his home and the high school. He says the ditch is only being maintained on the sides of the school, but not in the middle of the residential area where his home sits. Cavazos reached out to the city of Westlaco to see what they could do. They look on their diagrams and they tell us, okay, well, according to the blueprints, the, that swell belongs to the Westlaco East. He called Westlaco East High School. The maintenance director said they didn't have the necessary equipment to address his concerns. We were in the Cavazos' backyard and saw someone mowing the grass. So long there, friends. That's it. Cavazos is desperate for help. He fears the damage another flood could do. Channel 5 News sat down with Westlaco Independent School District's Oscar Rojas. He is a supervisor for maintenance. It is um, a pretty extensive, pretty deep um, uh, area where water does collect. Now, currently, there's still standing water in there. There's about four inches of water all the way across in that in that in that. Uh, retention pond. He explains the standing water near Cavazos' home makes it difficult to maintain with school equipment. One of the problems is the heavy grass inside the ditch. Rojas says the district took action. That's what we're working with the city and, and, and communicating with the city manager and their engineer so that we can figure out a solution on how we can get ourselves, first of all, get that water cleared out, right, so we can allow it to dry and then get our folks in there to, to, to start or to keep start keeping up with it. Channel 5 News spoke with the city of Westlaco's engineer. He confirms the detention area belongs to the school district. He tells us he's willing to meet with Cavazos to talk about building a retainer wall in his backyard that's acceptable to the city and to Cavazos.